Hi, I'm Oscar, and I'm our solutions engineer here at Oncord. One of the key modalities we've focused on building out recently is documents. Today, I'm going to show you a quick example of how we can curate and annotate documents with ease with Oncord. Fantastic. So let's start with curation. So the first step is identifying the documents that are relevant for our annotation project. And we have two kind of key ways that we can go about this. Firstly, we can use the raw text from the document as well as any kind of metadata that we have attached, such as like the date that we saved our document or the location it was saved. And then we can also search the semantic understanding of the document that we have generated from our embedding model. So you can see here in OnCod index, we can go about searching our PDF raw text. And we can search for an invoice, a kind of typical business annotation use case. You can see here that we've generated some responses, but there aren't any clear invoices. We have this sample, but we don't have any kind of clear business invoices. Whereas if we search in the semantic natural language search, you can see we're returning lots of results that we can look through and we can see here, we have this balance sheet response. We have this adjournment. We have these financial information responses. So even though invoice is not contained within the text field, we can actually identify these relevant documents with ease using on -court index. And this can handle vast scales, so we can go up to hundreds of millions of files. The next step is annotation. So once we've identified the relevant documents for our project, we can set them up into an annotation project. And then from here, we can open up one of these files. So we open up our PDF, we can find the relevant page that we identified through our curation step, and we can go about labeling our text. So you can see here, we can either look at the flattened PDF, or what we can do is we can um, outline all of the text in the file. Once we've outlined this text, we can simply highlight it, press a hotkey to select a class, and then paste the copied text into our bounding box. And this is a really kind of nice and easy way to make use of the PDF structure to do this OCR. We can also apply PDF level classifications such as context, semantic understanding as well that can be imbued from our annotators. Fantastic. If you found the session interesting, then head to oncord.com forward slash documents to learn more about our document capabilities.